hello very warm welcome to yet another video tutorials hope you are doing great and in today's video we are going to learn how to create ui text field programmatically in swift 4 ui text field is a control that allows us to get some input from the user so let's start and here create a new xcode project we will choose single view application template and here we will write our project name ui text field programmatic in language will be swift press next and we will save it to our hard drive or flash drive it's your score block tutorials and here we'll create another folder for the same and create and uh, create our project so here our basic single view application template is ready so in order to create a text field open up your view controller and in video dot we will take let txt username for example is equals to ui text field and here we will pass it a frame of cz rect and here we will pass we will pass it here 10 from the x-axis and from the top to bottom it we will say 100.0 and width we will say ui screen dot main dot bounce dot size dot width minus 20 pixels because we want to left cap 10 pixel from right and 10 from left and height we will give it 50 pixels and also we will give it a username dot background color is equals to dot yellow and lastly we will add this text field to our view as subview dot add subview txt username so now if i run the code you will see a small text field with background color yellow on our view controller so the app is built successfully no error we are also going to cover a few properties and rest of the properties are or the feature of UI text field are covered in our future tutorial so if you haven't subscribed our channel yet then please do subscribe so that you can get notified for the future tutorial update so here we are running it in iPhone 8 plus and here you can see this is our text field so here we can also change the text field text field username dot border style is equals to dot we have different style bezel line and round rect so by default it's round rect and we are running our app and here you can see no nothing happened because it's already round rect so here if we change it to this is the wide fold property round rect and here we will change it to line then you will see a small change so here you can see a border here and here we can enter if I want to here I can also use software keyboard so here you can see keyboard appears whenever we want we can also change the appearance of this keyboard by using txt username dot keyboard appearance is equals to dot that is dark default default is there if we, I change it to dark then the appearance of the keyboard will get changed So here I tap it here. now you can see the keyword appearance is changed also there are different kind of keywords we can sh show up whenever a user taps on a text field so for that we can give it text with dot is dot keyboard type 
is equals to dot so if you press dot and press escape then you can see there are a lot of the decimal pair default the default keyboard is this one that is shown here if I make it for example email address then you will see a little change since there is no add rate for that add rate user has to tap here and then go back with email address the type of keyword this add rate symbol will comes at the bottom so let's see what so that you can see clear difference between the keyword types here I make it now you can see here the add rate symbol this is a keyword style uh, if I change it to number number pad then you will see a number keyboard appears so you can change the keyword type based upon your requirement whether your text field is getting input of numbers only or is getting email input so here you can see this is the number pad so you can change the keyword by using the property keyword type so we will set it to default and also one more thing there is a property txt username dot placeholder placeholder is you can see uh, read it here the string that is displayed when there is no other text in the text field so is we, we can send it enter user name so this placeholder property allows us to specify a text when the text field is empty so the so that user can get a hint what kind of text he has to enter so so here you can see the enter username here is written so if I tap it goes when I clear it it comes back so this is the placeholder property and then we can also specify txt username dot font and here we can send font dot system font of size for example and we will give it a 15.0 it will increase the font of the text field So here you can see it increases the text field font so now also if you want to now this keyboard is appeared on your screen and you want to get rid of this there are different techniques used for this some use UI tap gesture whenever a user tap on this screen it goes away some use this return key so for this return key to work we need to create or we need to confirm to UI text field delegates so let's do that and UI text field delegate we goes here there are a lot of delegates for what we are required here this function called when for return key is pressed return no to ignore so we will implement this and here we will return true and here we will write text field dot resign first responder so resign first responder you can read it here that notify the subject that it has been asked to relinquish its status as first responder in its window so by first responder means the control that is currently gets infected by the user suppose I have many text fields here and I am interacting with or user is typing on the first text field then that text field is a first responder and others are not so the current control with which user is interacting is first responder so here this we implement this delegate and whenever we write a line text field design first responder it resigns the first responder and here we have to give text to username dot delegate is equal to self it telling that this class is implementing the UI del text field delegate protocols so when we run this app no I tap it I tapped here and here I press return you see the keyboard goes and I again tap it and here it counts so here for it did this we can resign the text we can sign the keyboard or we can hide the keyboard using our text will should return delegates 
there are other delegates that we will cover in our next video tutorial so these are the few basic properties that are used in UI text field if you like our video then please like and do share this video and please subscribe to our channel so that you can get future updates for the uh, new video release or video tutorials thanks for watching bye for now